I bought a 55 Ford F100 and I brought it to Bill and Autumn to do some work. And through that process, I saw an engine that they had in their lobby. It was um, this beautiful flathead motor. It was uh, had real rare race parts. It had some Harrell heads. And, uh, it was just this beautiful, almost piece of art. And, you know, I asked them, I go, what, what would you sell that? And they said no. And over the years of working on other cars I've owned and they've been working on, uh, we developed a friendship. And one night we were out uh, drinking tequila and I was able to finally get Bill to put a price on the motor. And I bought the motor after a bottle of tequila and a lot of $100 bills. And that was the, the precursor of building this hot rod. Oh, it's one thing what you promised, but it's another what you deliver. And you don't want it, now that you got it, to hell with it, to hell with it. Oh, it's one thing to deny it, but it's another to be defined by it. And you used to put in fire, and you think that you can't get away with this. You know? When I got the motor, I wasn't sure whether would I build a roadster, would I build a coupe, was it a five window, was it a three window, 32, 31, you know, 33, 34. I did not know what the final outcome would look like. I would have been happy with any of those options. It was now finding, finding the right body, and that's not so easy to do. You don't want to take a beautiful stock car and chop it. So through that process, I, I looked at a lot of cars. I talked to a lot of people. I met a guy out in Bakersfield who had a 31 chopped Model A uh, that was more or less a rolling chassis. He had it running. He pulled the motor out, put like a boat anchor motor in, a flathead. And, you know, sight unseen, I bought the car. It had a title. It had a chopped chassis and a 31 frame. And, you know, that was the beginning. Turns out the body was in great shape. The guy I bought the car from, everything he said was accurate. I never saw the car until it showed up and Bill was sending me texts and saying, wow, I can't believe the condition this is in. That's why you buy good uh, West Coast cars. It started a few years back we said, let's try to build a car and get it into the 2014 Race of Gentlemen. Everything sounded good as you do when you drink and great ideas and getting it together, it just, there wasn't time. So over the course of a few years, uh, Bill at Brothers Custom Automotive had helped other people build cars for, for Race of Gentlemen. Uh, we went out there in 15, had a blast. Then the build started on my 1931 Ford five-window coupe. came back from, from Japan at the Yokohama show, and that's really when the build went full bore, and we had a deadline of getting it to Autorama in Detroit uh, for 2017, and we were able to hit the deadline and get that car into the show. It did get, you know, another choice. It was, it was a pretty cool event for us. Bill's built a bunch of different coupes over the years that I've really liked. Uh, so some of the some of the design elements were, were easy because I could say I could point to Bill Miller's coupe and say that's the stance I want. But I want to do something a little bit different. Free.
There was a lot of collaboration with different people I respected in the hot rod world with Bill and Autumn and Jerry and just different people that really had a great sense of design for traditional high rods and uh, the collaboration worked. We, we got together one night at the shop and there was like five or six of us there and we picked a color and when they threw the paint down it was just obvious it was the right color. With any build, you get in it, you drive it, you see things that you'd like a little bit different. There's certainly tweaks. We left it a little raw because of that. We're gonna work out some details uh, over the next few months, but we we'll probably won't touch it. It'll just be driven, enjoyed, and then I think we're gonna do some, some changes come winter this year.